Hey everyone, welcome back to Jay Nix. Uh, today is our first installment in what we're going to do every single Thursday. We plan on a, uh, a vintage find in honor of the Throwback Thursday. And so uh, what I've done is instead of going and searching for the card on Thursday, I've already found it. And I just want to do a little, uh, you know, a little video showing what I found. And the idea is that we can find some, some vintage cards for $50 uh, or less. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to build a, a, a little collection. And so let's say we do this for three, four, you know, five months. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty good, pretty good collection of vintage cards. And then maybe see what we can go trade those for. So maybe we can take the whole collection and trade up to something uh, that's a little bit better. But anyway, uh, without further ado, I will make the, uh, the, first, the, the first purchase right here. So this was purchased from Cardboard Heroes, which is in uh, Magnolia, Texas. Uh, Mag it could be the Woodlands, Magnolia, the Woodlands. Uh, but here it is. So we were able to pull off a Ricky Henderson uh, rookie card here for $45. When I was younger, uh, these were going for $100, $175. This is 1980 tops. And so you can see here, centering's off a little bit, but for vintage, I think this is in really good shape. Um, I have no, no plan of sending this off to get graded or anything like that. This is either gonna stay in my collection for a long time, or like I said, we'll take this and some other vintage cards and we'll trade up. But I figured after I saw the price and knew the price point that I was going to try to stay at for this video, um, this is about as good of a rookie card as you can get, um, just based off Ricky Henderson's stats alone. And so, uh, you know, he's major league, all-time leader in stolen bases, all-time leader in runs scored. And I believe the stolen base record might stand for a long time. That could almost be like the Cal Ripken streak. Um, I mean, this guy stole 160 bases in one year. He also stole 60, he had 60 steals when he was 39 years old. Um, Ricky played 24 seasons, won uh, two World Series. He won an American League Championship Series MVP. He also um, played for several different teams, but he came back, I think he did four or five stints with the A's. So he always came back to the A's, the team that, the team that brought him up. Uh, but he did, he played for the, the Yankees, he played for the, uh, the Blue Jays. Um, in fact, he was, he was in the game, I believe, when Nolan, uh, Nolan Ryan th uh, threw the seventh no-hitter. I believe Ricky was in that game, I think he was batting leadoff for the Blue Jays. So I would imagine Ricky's faced Nolan quite a few times in his career. Um, anyway, so just going on, Ricky was a solid Hall of Famer. He had, a, he had 111 career war which is insane when really 70 war for your career will get you into the Hall of Fame. Generally, uh, 111 is just is way up there. Um, just an insane uh, leadoff man. I think, I don't know if he's still the, the leader in career leadoff home runs, uh, but I know he led that, that category for a long time. He had a little bit of pop, almost hit 300 home runs. He was at 297. That would have been a really nice stat line to have you know, 300 home runs, um, however many doubles, triples, and stolen bases. He may have been the only player in <laughs> that, could, that could reach those levels. But anyway, this was the find, uh, 45, so we stayed under our budget. I noticed that they had a few more, so we may go back and, and try again next week, but hopefully we'll, we'll uh, be able to find something. Maybe we can scour the internet for some good deals, but... I thought this was a good one to start off with, so comment, uh, let me know your thoughts on the, the start of this vintage collection. So who knows, maybe we'll, we'll be able to find some Mickey Mantles for, uh, for $50. They're not going to be anywhere, anywhere near the rookie cards, but maybe we can get some of his later year stuff, or maybe all-star cards or something like that. So uh, that would be awesome since I personally collect Mickey cards. So all right, until next time, thanks. Hit that like and subscribe button.